Greetings, Stan Daniels here. This is Muse Score, <clears throat> and I just loaded up a, the 12 bar mid file into Muse Score. And after a bit of fussing, I figured out how to insert new bars. Let's see if this works. If I hit the insert key, hopefully we'll get a new one. Nope. N to activate the new key. And let's hit the insert. And you can see that it's the inserting new measures is, is messy to say the least, but let's go ahead and try one more time. Insert, you see it's, it's inserting new measures where I don't want them, but what I can do, oh, it's not actually doing that either. Let's try, no, gosh, I hate this interface. Um, nope, that's not what I want. All right, N, and let's see if I can, there we go. Okay, so Control X, and now I'm going to put this over here, Control V to paste. Now what I've done is I've taken this 12 blue bar, 12 bars blue from C, and you can see I got it starting here at, uh, at E. So I'm going to take this original piece here, and I think it ends. I think it ends here. So I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to try to select all of this. Shift. Okay, there we go. So I hit the shift key and then the arrows, and now I'm going to copy that and then scroll down to the bottom. And click on click on my new measure. Let's go ahead and make it easier to tell that it's a new measure. Insert, insert. Okay. And now here is my new measure. Now Control V. And now I've already taken this 12 bar to from C to E. So let's go ahead and take it. Uh, let's go ahead and take it to F. F major. So I'll hit the arrow key up, one, two, three, and now we're at, now we're at E major. I'm going to take it to F major now. And there it is. Go ahead and hit save button, uh, 12 bars improved. Click on save. And now when I play this, hopefully it will be in F, it will start with F key. And that's, uh, that seems to be working. Here is the original. happy with that so we're going to save as now this is ah uh, MSCZ cancel uh, let's see if I can export this yes okay so I'm going to control a make sure it's all exported and export let's see if it works I don't want it as a PDF I want it as a MIDI file export, save, and now let's go to our MIDI files, 12 bars improved, and now it should be a MIDI file. So it's working, and that's what we want to do. Now we're going to take it over to another application, which is very exciting, called SightRead. And it's going to, we're going to learn a song. I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to call this uh, 12 Bars Practice. Uh, unknown. And I'm going to click to browse. 
Go bars improved, open, upload. And theoretically, it should be ready to go pretty quickly. So let's take a look. No, let's try 12. Okay, 12 bars practice. Yes, that's what I called it. And now let's play now. Click on the play button. And if you remember, there's a bit of a delay. And there it is. You see the whole first uh, 12 bars or so, and then should now go up one. There it is. It went up uh, half half a key. All right. Thanks for watching, and happy competing.